All right, so welcome. Uh, this is Switzerland 2023 uh, family trip. I'm Mr. Pizzuto, and this is Katie Cashmanian. So, just to give people a little bit of background, um, our story. I've been a teacher at Ridgewood High School since 1998. Uh, I've been traveling with the German Exchange for extensively, and then I started doing other international trips with a teacher at Ridgewood High School. Then she retired. I took over running trips. I've run a plethora of trips. And every single time I run a trip, parents reach out and say, we want to chaperone. We want to be a part of it. Um, so I finally said, I'll put together a trip for families. I reached out to Katie because Katie had done this before. And, and as we go through this, uh, I think she'll speak from her experience that this is a really fantastic opportunity um, one that I will have to step into, uh, it's new to me, but it's not new to her. Um, and Katie, you want to talk a little bit about your travel history? Um, well, I love to travel. I actually think that um, for students, it's, you know, whenever they say, oh, I'm going to miss school because I'm traveling, I think it's, don't tell, don't tell anyone this, but, but it's, ten to, it's the best classroom you can have. Um, and I've taken groups to Cambodia because we built our sister school there. And when we did that Cambodia trip, we had families come too, uh, mainly because, you know, I'm at the middle school level and you're going really, especially when we first started going to Cambodia, which was probably around 16 years ago. Um, it was such um, a, you know, different culture and different um, place to visit it's not a normal place that tourists would go at that time and so it was great to have the families and we discovered how much fun it was uh to travel with families and sometimes you know it's great to go just with your own family but it brings a completely different experience when you're when you're with other families as well especially other families you're connected to so at gw we used to do an international trip to quebec i think bf still does it and all of my kids who took other languages other than French were, would say, oh, it's not fair. We want to go on a trip. But again, you know, it's a little tricky to take middle schoolers. So um, I thought, hey, if we want to do something international, let me open it up to everybody and have families go too. So we did Germany, Austria, Czech Republic, and Poland with families. And it was about seven families, I think. Um, seven or eight families in total that went and it was you know well planned out we were met at the airport we had our tour guide that went everywhere with us um we you know really kind of handpicked our experiences from we made pierogies at a at an amazing restaurant in poland and you know we also made breakfast for um some kids with cancer you know, like we did some experiential things along the way. Um, and it was great because when you go with a family, if you kind of want to do something different or you don't feel like going out that night or, you know, you want to go your own way a little bit to some extent, it's, it's just kind of much more freeing um, than when you go just with kids and it's regimented. And it also gives the parents the opportunity to really see their kids experiencing, experience some pretty amazing things together. So that's kind of how I got into doing this type of trip. And when Basil said he was going to do this, I said, I'm in because it's just been the best experience to go on these international trips with families. Um, as a single mom of a son, for me, it's great because I don't feel that comfortable all the time traveling just the two of us. And this is a really comfortable, fun, exciting way to do it. So why educational travel? I mean, in this type of trip, it's educational, but it's not hardcore educational. It's a pleasure trip. Let's be serious here. But to meet people from other countries, to grow personally and have some experiences is just a fantastic uh, opportunity for our young people and to do it with their families is just even that much better. Um, so we picked uh, this company because we've been using them and the hallmarks of an amazing trip are expertly trained, knowledgeable tour managers. So the video that was sent out, um, hopefully everyone got a chance to see it. If you didn't get a chance to see it, please see it. 
has a tour manager from Ace AS. We do plan on having him as our tour manager, but they're all have been fantastic. So if you, if you listen to him, you hear how he talks about the trip. He follows us from the minute we get to the, you know, land at the baggage claim at the airport to the minute we get back on the plane. Uh, the tour manager is in charge of the trip. He or she will be there through everything. And they're really there to make us have a fantastic time. And they are great people, smart people, fun people, funny people. I mean, uh, the guy who made the video, Adrian, was so much fun. We had so many great times with him. But all the, the tour managers have been fantastic. And so to travel with somebody that you could say, what restaurant should I go to? Or where can I bring my family to do this? He's there to answer all those questions throughout the entire trip, tirelessly. The other thing is great food. So this trip you will see, if you look at the itinerary in parentheses at the end of the description of the day, it'll have a B, an L or a D about the day. It might say BD, which is breakfast, dinner. It might say BL, breakfast, lunch. It may say just L or just D or whatever. With this trip, we included some group meals so we could spend time together, but there's also plenty of time to do your own shopping for food. So we made sure there was a mixture of both because we do think it's important to explore. Um, central located hotels, the hotels will be fantastic. They'll be in areas so we can just walk out of the hotel and get right to where we want. It's not like you have to take a three hour bus tour just to get to where you wanna go. Uh, and then uh, different things and cultural connections. In this case, if you look at our itinerary, um, there's there's boat rides, there's gondola rides, there's um, uh, cogwheel train rides to, to different places. And there's also a night, a cultural night uh, included in this trip. And so we start with a uh, trip with a flight. I will say in terms of this is that I talked to ACS and, and we recognize that many of our uh, our friends probably have airline miles and they want to book their own flight. So they are going to upload a alternate cost for if you don't want to include flights. So if you want to just meet us there at the airport or at the hotel, that will be fine. So you can save yourself money if you have airline miles, which is fantastic. If not, um, we could fly together. We'll just meet at the airport. You get yourself to the airport and we, we go together and we meet our tour manager when we get there. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time on the actual itinerary because that is covered in the video. Um, but I chose Geneva to start with because it's a great place uh, to start um, because it's Lucerne is such a great place to end. So in Geneva, we will um, spend some time at CERN. It's the a particle collider is the uh, largest building project in the world goes through three countries and have a really good interactive area to learn about it. Um, that picture up on the top left there is our, our group that went to uh, CERN. It was fantastic, a lot to learn there. Bottom right here, you see the United Nations um, building. We'll spend some time going to uh, different areas in Geneva. And of course, the, we're on Lake Geneva, so you see the lake there. Then we'll move to Luzon, which is actually where we're going to stay in the hotel. We're going to spend time at a castle, which is a lot of fun, especially for younger children, but even the teenagers love it and the adults. Then we're going to take a boat trip to Evian, France, which is just a great way to see how Europe is. Like you just take a quick boat ride, you're in another country. It's very different from our, for our students to see how close and how small um, the countries are in Europe have some lunch there. We're going to a chocolate factory. And what I had said in the video is that it's more than just a factory. It's kind of like a Disney-esque experience to learn about chocolate making in France. And then dinner on your own. We're going to be brought to an area where a lot of, a lot of choices. Um, Vangen is a town that is up in the Alps. And it's the bottom of an area where then you would take the gondola to the top of uh, Jungfrau, a 10,000 foot mountain. Uh, that'll be a fantastic experience, but it's also a beautiful place. Um, we're also gonna go to Baron, which is the top left uh, picture here. Um, beautiful medieval city, just fantastic. 
Um, and then in Bangina, of course, we're going to be doing this. These pictures are from a winter scene. I sent out videos um, of the from uh, whatever Rick Steves. Um, they're great videos to see what Switzerland looks like in the summer. It is really fantastic. It's just going to be great. Um, also, we're going to go then up more north Switzerland, Engelberg. There's a, um, a cheese factory slash brewery. Um, that's ran by Benedictine monks. Uh, we'll go see that. We'll spend time there. And then in Luzerne, there's great things. Like one of the things I listed on here is the Transportation Museum. Um, I'm showing, these look like model cars to the bottom right. Those are not Matchbox cars. Those are full-size cars. So this Transportation Museum has like every form of transportation, trains and, and the uh, space shuttle has one of the space shuttles from the United States, because obviously uh, Switzerland scientists worked on it. Um, and then the bottom left was a cultural night, which we're going to do, which had Alpine horn playing and yodeling and all kinds of fun things. And uh, it's just a great city to explore, a really safe city to let your kids just roam free. And I think the idea of having a group together gives us an opportunity where, uh, you know, the kids could get to know each other and, and they go out and explore and the parents could have a lot of fun together. So it's Cultural I, American me, history, a lot of fun. Let me just interrupt for one second. One of the interesting things when we did our trip was the kids were from all different groups and different ages. And you kind of wondered, ooh, what's going to happen? And they bonded together, all these kids that were just so different in real life and you know everyday life and had such a blast together. It was almost freeing that they weren't you know, surrounded by their normal people. It was really cool. So that's basically a thing of the trip. I'm going to stop sharing now. And if anyone has any questions, please share them in the uh, chat. So how much is this trip? So what I'm going to share with you now is what's called the trip site. So in the emails that were sent, and I'll send the follow up to this one, there is a um, what's called a trip site. So if you go to the trip site, everything you want to know is on the trip site. And let me just get this up. So this is the trip site. Uh, Katie, do you see it? Yes? Yeah, I can see it. Yep. All right. So the trip site has everything you need to know. So starting here. I'm listed as the group leader. This is the group ID number if you need it. It says we're departing from New York City. Our flight is actually from Newark, New Jersey first. Um, it just says New York City because they count that as New York City. Moving forward, uh, what is included? Round trip flights. Like I said, uh, if you want to book your own flights, that's fine. That'll just come off the price. Um, daily breakfast and dinners, unless otherwise noted, that's listed in the itinerary. There's a boat trip to Evian. There's a boat trip to uh, another uh, place we're going. There's a, a chocolate factory, um, different things we're going to. So all of that is included. Um, we're going to see a number of cities basically go across all of you know Switzerland. We're going to cover a lot of Switzerland. And Switzerland is just a fantastic European city. And I just picked Switzerland not only because it's fantastic, but I think it's a safe place to go uh, during this time with, with so much unrest in the world. Um, so you can and go through, yeah. even though even though fuel costs are going way up, our no, our if you costs, once our cost you, will increase, right. right? Once you make the deposit, you're locked in. If you wait, it could go up. So July first is when we are locking in. But the truth is, I'm going to ask people to, to make, if they're interested in going, make a deposit right away, because it gives us the ability to know that people are interested in this trip. Obviously, we're, we're holding our lives on hold to go. Um, and we want to, we need to have a group to go because we're going to have a bus, we're going to have a tour manager. So we do need, we're looking at 25 uh, people to go. Um, and we have, you know, about 30 something people who are interested in even this evening. Um, so if you go with the itinerary, it literally goes through every single day. And then if you go to tour price, and of course, when you look at it, it's, it's a lot of money, but I was thinking about, well, you know, when I went to Jamaica, 
but it was a lot of money. So, you know, it is a lot of money. It's, and I need to break this down. So the program fee is $5,566. There's a $200 discount if you um, sign up before July 1st. Now, the thing about this is that we're usually running student trips and with student trips, they house together. So there are these other charges. So one thing is if it's an adult signing up, it's gonna be $100 per adult in addition to the original $5,366 fee. Um, if you want a single room, like if you're an adult going on this trip and you want to be by yourself, it's $665 extra for the, for the entire trip to be alone. If you're, let's say a married couple and you don't want your kids in your room, then it's a $350 supplement. A and lot then, of people did that on our trip. Like they had their kids in a separate yes. room. Now, the thing about it is that if you have, let's say you have one child and you don't want them sleeping in a room with anybody else like there there these things can be worked out with the travel agent but there are these room supplements because obviously they're they're in the business to make money and they they traditionally house kids three in a room so if you're a uh, two parents with one kid and you don't mind your kid being in your room you don't have to pay any extra charges just the adult surcharge because that's for the food and um for a trip like this, where it's a family trip, the body has some drinks on the menu and things like that. Uh, so that's fine. If you want your kids to be in a separate room, then there's these different supplements. Um, what they did say is that a family of three or more sign up, there will be a discount. I can't tell you exactly what it is, uh, but they will discount you if you're like a family of three or four. It'll probably cover your adult surcharge or something like that. So there are these little additional surcharges and the other thing I'll talk about is insurance. So right now you can sign up tonight and we can get the ball rolling and get some excitement going for this trip. I ask everyone to sign up if they, if they have any intention in going, but before September 1st, you can back out. So let's say we only have 10 people that want to go and that's not enough. So before September 1st, we could cancel the trip. Everyone gets their money back in full, 100%. After September 1st, once we are committed to the trip, then it bases on insurance to back out. So everyone's covered on a basic plan. So if you look at this as basic coverage and people could study this on their own, then there's ultimate protection and then ultimate plus. It sounds like a lot of money and you could get insurance on your own from any insurance company online. I will say this. Right now, COVID is, the new rules are great. We do not have to test to come home. We don't have to test to go. So we're in a really good place. But we can't predict that April or May or June next year, there isn't a surge and then all of a sudden they put these rules in. So I suggest great insurance. You don't need to get it from ATS, but that's how you do it. Um, I think that's- And the other thing is just a reminder about that. If you have the air, a lot of people do have airline miles. And because of course, with the fuel costs, you know, your round trip ticket to Europe is ex really expensive. So, you know, that is a way to cut down on the cost if you have your points. Right, but realize that you have to meet us there when we're there. So, you know, that's the thing. Right. You'd be on your own getting there. Whereas if you sign up with this trip, we'll be all together. Um, payment plans, they have a payment plan where they automatically deduct the money each month from your bank account. That's the best plan to go. They give you a $50 discount on that. Also, if you do that, but to register to have a spot is $200. And the, the one thing they had warned me is that their system is set up. Every single person going, you have to register and make a payment plan for separately. And then they will go in and combine them as families. So it, it, you would think you're joining as a family and you put your name in, but you literally have to go in and just sign up because each person signing up, they need the passport information and everything to get the airline ticket. So just keep that in mind. Um, so that's that with that. And this answers any questions. So if you're interested in registering, which I hope many people are, you go to register now, you choose your trip, which is obviously the Switzerland trip. You can answer these questions about 
returning at a later date, you want to stay there longer, you want your own flights, you want to leave from a different city. I know that some friends are moving right after graduation. They could come from a different city, could still join us. Uh, and obviously you're not a participant or an assistant group leader. My computer knows that I'm one of those people. Um, you're a member of the trip and you do it that way. So that's basically that. I'm open to any questions. If anyone has any questions. Now our friends may have gone off and done other things and Katie and I are just here alone together. <laughs> or they don't have any questions. <laughs> but it's good we have this because I know several people who couldn't um, log right, in we'll tonight. The recording. And them we're recording, so we'll send it out. Hi, it's, uh, it's Julie. Hi there. Hello. Um, just a quick question about the flights with uh, ACIS. Are the flights direct from Newark or are they, uh, is there a stopover? Well, my experience is they try to do direct flights. So I've been to Switzerland with ACIS three times already. And every single time to Switzerland, it's been direct. There's great United flights uh, to and from Geneva and to and from Zurich. But that doesn't always work out that way. So sometimes you're going through Frankfurt. So what happens with them is that 45 days before, but as of right now, these are direct flights. Like they have already, you know, have flights picked out and they should be direct flights. Okay. Now That's I'll just give you like, what happens is this, and I'll just give you an example. Uh, the school's going to Iceland. We have 103 kids signed up. So we had direct flights and we are actually maintaining direct flights, but now we're no longer just out of Newark because we have so many kids going. Mm -hmm. They had to now get flights from JFK. So, you you know, I'm saying they're direct flights. If we remain a, a group around the size of 25, which I expect, they will be direct flights out of Newark. I understand. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hopefully we'll get some excitement going for this. If you know anybody interested, this is not open to just, you know, Ridgewood people, whatever, if you know, family, friends, anything. And it doesn't uh, have to be, I have a friend who's interested in coming and her, her kids are older now. Um, and, you know, I was like, well, that's fine. You, you can still come, <laughs> you know, you know, you don't yeah. have to have a kid to come and um, that's another benefit of having this group go together because you feel comfortable, you know, being with a bunch of people and it's fun. It's really fun to get to know other people and do it together. Right. Well, it sounds great about it. And I've done, you know, group trips before is that on this type of trip, unlike a school trip, is that you could be together, but you could also decide to be apart. So there are going to be times where you could go out exploring. If you want to go with a group or not, it's up to you. But also if the group is going one direction, you want to go another one, that's fine too. You know, we just, as long as you're back at the hotel, by the time we're leaving for the next stop. 